Virgo, welcome to your first reading for 2023 with me, Adrian Nelson, your Psychic Tarot Reader. I hope you had a beautiful New Year's and I hope that 2023 is the best year of your life. And so it is. All right, so this is a general reading for love and it's just sort of like across 2023. So take it as it resonates. And in the weekly readings, we will, you know, check it out a little bit closer, obviously everything. Um, for those of you that have always been supporting me, I'd like to say thank you from my heart. And if it's your first time here, I'd like to welcome you here. I hope that you will consider subscribing to the channel. All right, which one? I'm going to take this one, okay? This one? Oh, this one. Okay. All right. Knight of Cups. I love that energy. Very water sort of energy. Um, beautiful energy that's coming out there for you, my beautiful, beautiful Virgos. And this is an energy that is encouraging you to follow your heart, to follow your emotions, to get out of your head space and allow yourself to be in your heart space a little bit more. Now, this is the energy where you can really feel that, listen, things are going in a positive direction for me. You know, you are feeling ready for love. You are feeling pumped. And... It's, it's almost like the fears and the doubts that you have sometimes when it comes to love. They may not be that present at the moment, which is a wonderful relief. Um, but in the other way, you know, it might make you a little panicky when you say to yourself, well, shouldn't I be thinking about this and shouldn't I be thinking about that? Today is a magical day for you when it comes to love, when it comes to manifestation, when it comes to getting the desires of your heart. Today is the day that if you have special feelings for that person, you want to be telling them, all right? Somebody might be telling you, you need to be telling them, today is a day of going for the desires of your heart, all right? Let's see what else it is that we have for you. And of course, I'm not speaking about, you know, if, if obviously, yeah, let's say you are, you know, in love with a with a person who's happily married, then you know maybe you want to rethink that a little bit. Um, but if you available, they available, it's like you can feel the like you can feel the draw to one another. Like you feel how your heart is drawing you to another person. Um, and it, it, it might be that that person has moved on a little bit just because they thought they're never going to be with you. But I'm going to go out on a limp and definitely bet and say that if you let them know how you feel, whoever it is that they're dealing with now, um, you know, that person better be ready for a goodbye. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Swords and the Death Card energy. Beautiful breakthroughs. I love this for you. Beautiful breakthroughs, breakthroughs in finances, breakthroughs in jobs. So maybe the thing that was making life challenging for you, Virgo, was... You had responsibilities, you know, maybe you had to work really hard, you had to make things work, you know. Um, so so there were those sort of challenges, you know, there were things that you needed to take care of. You had to human, you know, um, and you couldn't almost afford to, to have yourself thrown around by love and love not working out and that sort of thing. But a lot, it's almost like the excuses that you had for why you can't have love, those excuses are going out the door. All right, going out the back door. Ten of Swords. Um, there, you know, there's a lot of pain here. Or, or there, uh, there's a lot of pain that has come your way when it comes to love. There might have even been physical abuse, you know, emotional abuse, mental abuse, disrespect. Somebody not seeing your value, not honoring your worth, you know, I'm taking you for a ride. There's a lot of that. But do you know the wonderful thing about going through those experiences and if we don't allow it to harden our hearts is that when the real deal comes around, you really, really see it for the value that it is. Okay. And the beautiful death card energy there, which is amazing because... You know, the death card energy, it's a Scorpio energy. It's about regeneration and taboos and, you know, um, a lot of the, the sort of things that were wrong for you and that shouldn't be done and, you know, all the reasons why a connection couldn't work out. So maybe you're dealing here with someone that maybe you've liked them for a while, 
but you know there was just so many things blocking this connection that you didn't even see it ever working out those things are busy moving out of the way all right beautifully moving out of the way so goodbye to the past goodbye to the ex goodbye to the pain you know it's like they say in um the book um well book four actually of the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy you know where all the dolphins are leaving planet earth they go like you know goodbye and thank you for all the fish you know goodbye and thank you for the experiences let's clarify this ace of pentacles what is happening over here oh. Some of you might be getting a big financial injection here, a promotion, a new job. Whatever it is, it ups your status, you know, and it makes you more available to love than you may have been before. So Ace of Pentacles, what is it that my beautiful, beautiful Virgos need to know when it comes to love? Queen of Cups, Five of Wands. The Emperor. Hmm, there we go. <coughs> Sorry. So, I can also see that the reason, that the reason why this happened, this breakthrough in opportunity, this financial breakthrough that gives your soul up the opportunity to breathe is because you, your focus has changed. Your focus has become different. You, um, you may have always wanted to be with someone that you can build a life with, that you can build a beautiful connection with, a beautiful relationship with. So you may have always wanted that. But, you know, there's a big difference between wanting something and making up your mind that that is what I'm going for and nothing other than that. You know, very, very different, those two. And I can see that you became very focused not only on wanting that perfect love, but also becoming the person who is that perfect love. So you really worked on yourself quite a lot. And I can also, I see you being in the state of surrender that if I'm meant to be with that person, then it will happen. And that is what draws them to you. Okay. This is what draws love to you. Are there fears? Hell yes. <laughs> you know, there are fears. There are concerns. There is that fear. Like what if, what if the past repeats itself and that sort of thing? But I don't see that happening. I see you actually seeing the past, but not being ruled by the past. Something that a lot of people don't realize is that Virgo has very strong emotions. A lot of people, now I see it a lot when I even look at videos about sort of like Virgo personality and that sort of thing, you know. Everybody says, no, they're these cold motherfuckers and they don't really care about anything and anyone. It's just their way or the highway, which isn't really true. I mean, Virgo is one of the most... Um, complacent signs, you know, um, zodiac signs, and you are probably one of the energies that is most willing to sort of like, um, you know, sacrifice actually when it comes to a connection. But what I love is that you got to a space that the, the thing, the person, the energy, the value the worth that you are not prepared to sacrifice is you. So there's a beautiful new start here. There's a beautiful new beginning. There's a powerful beginning in love. It's not just beautiful, it's powerful, all right? It is a space where, if you maybe felt before that you have to almost like tone yourself down just a little bit, you know, don't be so extra type of vibe. This is a space in which you can be as extra as you please and it's even supported, okay? Let's look at that Ten of Swords. Somebody is regretting that they let you go, right? Whoever let you go, I'm telling you, they are regretting it. And as you are letting this energy finally go completely, because you're not just the energy of saying goodbye, but as you're finally letting that energy go, they can feel that. And don't be surprised that that person contacts you, texts you, calls you, you know, um, send you like a video that reminds you of the time together or you know say like can we try again or anything like that and it's interesting because you might be getting the message that you would have wanted to get from this person for a very long time and now that you are getting it you're like nah, a little too late you know a little too late <coughs> sorry <coughs> Eight of Wands, Hierophant, and the Ace of Pentacles. So we've got the Ace of Pentacles twice, which is fantastic. Um, really beautiful breakthroughs here for you. 
This is the one thing that you want to look out for, Virgo. You've got a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful heart. Like, I love my Virgos. You've got a beautiful heart. But just be careful that you don't sort of go into that space where you overcompensate, where another person's life becomes sort of like about you, like your life become about them, that sort of thing, you know? Don't let that happen. Um, the idea is to grow together. You and this person starting something new, starting something beautiful together, all right? Um, yeah, uh, this is what I like. This person that you are dealing with, this is a space of um, not looking at love through rose-tinted glasses, you know? Some people would love love, but they, they look at it in such a fickle sort of way. They water it down. Whereas this energy, this person that you deal with, if your idea is that you want to live a life where you are there for each other through the good times and the bad times, you know? And I can't remember what that call, song is called, but like, always through the good times and the bad times, I'll be there for you always. This is the vibe. When life gets difficult, as the future inevitably will for anybody, this person is not dropping you. They're standing by your side through everything. Okay? Like, this is your dream person. Um, and again, together, Together, you are so strong. Together, you are building an empire, basically, of love, you know. Together, you are building something beautiful. X is regretting it, but, you know, it is what it was. <laughs> Clarifying the death card energy. Four of Cups, so you might be a little bit hesitant towards this love in the beginning. Four of Cups, Page of Cups, Six of Pentacles. So even though I do some of, see some of you making the first move, you may still be like, you know, I don't really know when this person says, listen, let's do this thing, okay? Some of you might still be a little bit hesitant. It's normal to feel that way, okay? Um, but the cup of love is definitely reach out to you. And I feel that some of you may have said, listen, I'm done with love. You know, I, who did I pick that up for? Aquarius, I think. Yeah, maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. So check, you know, where you might have Aquarius in your chart. That I am done with love. I can't be more done than I am. But then you experience this new possibility and you like it. And it really, really does open your heart. This is a beautiful connection. This person is the real deal. All right. They are who you, this is what you have been waiting for. And consciously working together at building something beautiful. Consciously working together at creating something beautiful. Okay. If you do still have some difficulty releasing the past, letting go, being fully open to the new, um, you might very much benefit from a guided meditation that I have for deep forgiveness. Um, it is part of my latest online course, Spiritual Awakening Starter Pack. But the first couple of lessons are free and this guided meditation forms part of that. So if you look at the link down below in the description, it says um, Spiritual Awakening Starter Pack. You can find it over there. You can really benefit from there. I wish you all the best. And from my heart, love and light, namaste. I will see you next week.